going on, guys? So, I just left Home Depot, and I told the young lady that I was looking to paint my box truck with some exterior uh, home paint. She uh, suggested I use satin white. So, this is it with the uh, paint and primer. So, make sure you guys get it. Uh, exterior paint, paint and primer. If you're looking to paint a box truck and not spray it, but actually use rollers. I decided to go with a rough surface roller. Uh, it isn't the smoothest surface. Um, actually, with my box truck, and I uh, decided to get a brush as well. But, yeah. Actually, with my box truck, I... Um, my surface actually if you can see the the the, the 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 grain or the texture of my surface unlike the texture here on the uh, base of the truck uh, which is just, you know just a typical um uh car you know body type of surface but um I don't know. I figured instead of taking it and spending a whole bunch of money uh, getting it sprayed, maybe I can do it uh, another way and um, paint it similar to you painting a house or something. So as you can see, we taped it up all the way around. And then for my service, you know, I do junk delivery, junk, uh, junk removals, deliveries and moves and things like that. So it doesn't have to be like perfect, but... I was just curious as to whether or not it could actually be done and look halfway presentable. And uh, yeah, I'm going with some new lettering, the vinyl lettering now, things like that. So we're actually out here right now in the process of painting. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys and share um, that it actually can be done. Right now, of course, like I said, we're just beginning. This is the first coat. We're going to put about two or three coats on it. But um, what I suggest is you guys just go ahead and tape it up. That way any of the aluminum on the sides don't get covered with any paint. And um, have at it, man. And uh, it'll be a, at a fraction of the cost. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure those guys at the paint body shop are charging anywhere close to five, six hundred, maybe even a thousand dollars to do this. I uh, I spent fifty plus dollars at uh, Home Depot, and um, <laughs> we're out here, man, making it happen. So hopefully this video helps someone, encourages, motivates you to uh, save a dollar and um, do it yourself. I guess that's what uh, YouTube's about now. This is a do-it-yourself video. So there it is. Have at it, fellas. Hope it helps you.